Hey, what's up guys? This is Josh with Ace Appliance and today I'm going to do a little different review, a little uh, different in-depth video. We're going to be doing a review of the 2022 Kia Carnival. We've had this thing for about three months now. Now you might be saying, why is an appliance guy doing a, a video of the next gen minivan? Well, I'll show you why. Uh, take a look here. See the uh, Ram 1500 with the old grandpa topper, nice blue on black there. That's what I've been using to run my appliance business for the last four or five years. And uh, as our family has grown now to a family of six with this type of business, working from home and kind of creating my own schedule, I essentially get to uh, go whenever I want to pick stuff up. And a lot of times the family wants to come with and for all six of us now to cram into the uh, truck, it's just not feasible anymore. So. What we've actually done, and I have another video up that you can check out if you're interested uh, doing this yourself, but I put this hitch on here, and now we run with the trailer and do all my pickups that way. And I tell you what, a vehicle like this, smooth, we don't even, we don't even know that the trailer is back there most of the time, even when we're hauling. It just makes a business like this where I typically have to go by myself. If we all wanna go and uh, get a little bit more family time together, it works out great it actually works out really well and I've never really been a truck person I've always been more of a um, smaller vehicle that's actually what's up with the white Kia uh, Seltos there I've actually essentially traded in the truck for the Seltos so I'm gonna sell the truck because uh, I've just never been a truck person but um, you know for the business it was always kind of necessary and needed but hauling appliances in and out of the back of the truck was starting to take a toll, a toll on my body. So we just kind of figured we try something else, try something a little different and getting this set up with the uh, hitch package, which cost me under $400 and it was an easy install. Like I said, you can check out that video. I plan to do the exact same thing with the Seltos and put uh, the hitch on that one and can also run it around. A lot of people assume appliances are just super heavy and but they're really not. And like I've got a set in the back of the truck right now and hoisting it up in there, I'm gonna have to do this stuff by myself. Like I said, it just takes a toll on the body. And so with the trailer, I can use the dolly. It is extremely efficient. Just hook up, go, I can dolly everything, minimal lifting or no lifting at all. It's easier on the body, it's more fun for the family. So that's why we're gonna jump in and do an in-depth review. Also, there's hardly anything up on this vehicle so you know if you don't care at all about the business aspect which I assume most people watching this probably don't I just threw it in there as to why I'm doing this video I'm sure there's a lot of other people doing uh, different types of videos we keep finding them when we were looking for this three months ago we were finding uh, dealerships doing videos and you know that's a biased opinion they're gonna tell you everything that they love about it uh, in this review we're gonna give you a real review on what it's like for six people in here. Uh, one of them being a baby, two year old, eight and nine year old. And of course then the two of us. So we're gonna do a real review on what we absolutely love about this vehicle, what we wish was a little different and uh, what maybe they could have done a little better. Um, so let's get into that review now and we'll go through some pictures, uh, show off some of the different things on it. So let's dive in. By the way, that house right there is abandoned. Nobody lives there and they don't keep up with it very well. I just thought I'd throw that out there. It's why it looks like we live next to Ted Bundy, but there's nobody there. All right guys, to finish up this review, I'm not gonna be doing it. My wife is gonna be doing it because obviously She's the one that's driving this around. I've got the other two vehicles for now, like I, uh, like I explained, so. And you know, not to sound like sexist or anything, but this is a soccer mom van. You can't even call it a van. And though none of us play soccer, it just sounds good. So, you ready? Ready. And you got the baby, is the baby ready? Baby is ready. Baby's sleeping. Perfect, let's do this, I'll go around. Okay. We've got, you've got push buttons here, so if you have the key in your pocket, you just hit those and everything will open right up. We're gonna sit in here and talk about it for just a minute. All right, so we've got 
phone holder slots. Which what, works out. What package do we have? We have the EX. Okay, so we got the mid trim level and it's got the wireless charger, it's got the cup holders, phone holder, heated seats, it's got additional cup holders. Additional phone holder right here. Huge thing full of stuff. Like I said, real review guys. We've been using this for three months. We have uh, we have four kids, right? We don't have more than that, do we? No, we okay. have four kids. As long as I got the number right. <laughs> Just teasing. I know how many kids we have. Okay. Okay. So here's some of the options that we really like. Um, definitely the backup cam. So you can see I popped it into reverse. You can see behind us. It gives the trajectory on it. This is, yeah, this is cool. It'll alert you if something's close to you. And then turn your wheel again real quick. Yeah. I'll show them that. So this, like, so the blue line it is exactly where you're backing up to. And this is showing you where you will be if you back up with the wheel turned that way. So that's kind of cool. Now, whenever you turn the vehicle back into park, your display resets. However, right here, you can click this. And if you're parked, it will show you what's directly behind you without it being in reverse as well. Cool. I think the rainy day thing is on. It is. I'm not sure why. Just Did you turn that on? Maybe. So that's part of the built-in features that it has that's really cool. Um, and this is the bigger 12.3 inch screen. The lower trim model has the 10 point something inch screen and we like this setup better. Over here, she's got the digital display. Digital display in the middle and we like that as well. So what I was gonna say up here is you can scroll over and it has sounds and features that you can select. So you've got, here we go. You got rainy days, lively forest, calm sea waves, all things like that, which is really awesome if you have little ones that need um, white noise to go to sleep. There's also this quiet mode right here, which turns the volume down up here to seven, and then it turns the volume in the back off, which is fantastic. I didn't even know I had that. Yeah, it's really awesome for kiddos trying to sleep in the back. We were just talking about this before we started this video. We're not gonna go through every single feature. We're just gonna show you the stuff that we actually use with the kids and stuff. Show them the, uh, the one where it talks back there where you can. Yeah, so I set this up as a shortcut, but you can also select it here from your passenger view. But I set it my star right here as a shortcut, which you can do under your settings. So while I'm driving, I just push that. And then up here, it'll show me the back seats and then if I want to talk to whoever's in the back, instead of having to shout, I just click talk now, and then it plays through the speakers for them so they can hear me at a normal volume. Yeah, all the way back in third row. Now, being the dad, I still yell, though. I'm like, hey, quiet down. She will turn this vehicle around. Bring it up here. Okay. This is where the camera is for them to see, um, but if you have like an adult that's trying to talk to everybody as well, they can hit this, and it will also play through the speakers for them. I was wondering what that noise was. Yeah. <laughs> it's got Apple uh, CarPlay, it's got Android Auto, all that. You just plug your phone in and hit this button here and it can do all of that. But honestly, I don't even use it because if I'm calling or texting, I just hit this button and it's, I have an iPhone. So this also has the Siri, whatever it's called, enabled on It's just on Bluetooth. It. Yeah, it's just the way Bluetooth hooks up to your phone. No, it's got a Siri it. component to it. Oh, does it? Yeah. Never. So Hey, what's up? See, it just took Siri over on the screen. Right. Which is really cool. So Siri, so it's not just Bluetooth, it's like Siri's integrated with your screen. Uh -huh. So that's what that means on the on the uh, Bluetooth. Cool. Okay. Um, let's see other oh, realistic look at this. features. I just realized I have the drive modes on here. I've never changed. You do? Them. Yeah. Holy crap! So I can go smart, normal, eco. And sport. Uh, we've never even tried it in sport. No. That uh, that Seltos over there in sport Probably mode is freaking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll set it for sport for our next. Oh, that's cool. Trip. Yeah. Um, so here's a couple features that we don't like sitting right up here. Is let me see this. Yep. Go for it. To open the doors, 
and the back hatch, all of that is over here. And I think that's for a safety feature. However, it can be cumbersome when you have a passenger sitting over here uh, yeah. and they can't open anything. Right. And then we're going to look right up here where we have these buttons. These are push buttons to turn the lights on. However, they are not illuminated. So whenever it's nighttime, okay, these are not illuminated. So whenever it's nighttime, you can't see what buttons you're actually pressing. Um, they, and they talked about that on the forums, right? People were like, Yeah, I looked that up on the don't. forum to see if there was something I needed to turn on, and there's not. Right. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. I've had to drop this down and turn this light on so I could see what I was pushing up here. So if you were wondering, they don't turn on. However, these lights back here are push lights so the people in the back can turn lights on as well. So those do illuminate. They don't illuminate, no. Oh, they're, they're just lights that they're you can turn on. They're just lights that you can push and turn on. You don't have to click a button for it. Okay, what about these? What are these? Oh, and these are also... Oh, you weren't talking about here. No, those are, the those cameras. are cameras, okay. So yeah, that's why she's out here doing this. Because okay. I don't know anything. Yeah, so um, the other thing that's really nice is from the driver's side, the buttons for the windows are all one touch down and one touch up. Aren't they all that way? On the driver's side for all of the windows. Okay. So on this there. model, on the passenger side, it is not one touch down. That's on the next trim up, I believe. Okay. Yeah, see the Celtos is the top of the line package and it only has auto for just the driver's window. So that's kind of cool, but it's needed. I'd say it's needed in a van like this where it's going to be full of passengers and that's all the crap I picked up from vacuuming, but um, uh, I also included in here tips on vacuuming super easy to do it's like it was made to be vacuumed with the car vacuum attachment tool easily fit your car seats in here there's the base we have an additional seat and that seat actually comes out pretty easily we've taken it out and put a cooler and some luggage and stuff there and then the older kids they just sit in the back and there's charging ports everywhere so they can plug in their iPads and uh, I mean there's charging ports back there on these seats like and up here this one even right there so it's really decked out with having kids and having passengers in mind now another thing that's really nice that my kids really liked is that did we just die nope is that is flush into the um roof of the vehicle um and that is the rear temperature controls because on our other vehicle it was here and it stuck out really far so whenever they were moving around they'd whack their head so yeah. now that's nice and concealed over there this still has a little bit of a ledge that you can see uh, but it's very minimal compared to a control unit there somebody's gonna whack their head off yes so that's very nice and this does have the tri-zone i think is what they call it a tri-zone um temperature control so we can have it towards all synced everybody has the same temperature or we can set driver, passenger, and rear controls. And here's something that I learned on the Seltos that applies here as well. If, say, it's super hot outside and you set it to 68 and you start it from your phone or from inside, um, the, that'll, that'll get it kind of cool. But I learned that if you kick it all the way down to low, that is maxed out as cold as it can get and it gets ice cold really fast. Whereas if we had it on 68 or even 69, um, I mean, it gets cool and it gets colder, but if you want it, if it's super hot outside, like here where we live right now, it's like almost hundred degrees outside. So we want it to be ice cold immediately as fast as it can be um, before we bring all the kids out. So that was kind of cool. Okay, let's go around. Actually, real fast before we do that. Um, driver's seat. In the EX model, you have all the positional changes. It is electronic, is that what you call it? Electric. Yeah, an electric adjustment. Passenger seat is manual, as well as the rear seat. All seats. the rest of the seats just have the bar. You slide it, and it's super easy. Super easy to do. Our nine-year-old can reach down here and just move it up. So we'll show you what it's like adjusting it on the back. Yeah, let's talk about it real quick. And we just... You can pull that out and it'll do the same thing. It's just easier to hit the button. I'm going to show them this seat here real quick. Okay. Uh, super easy. If your kids want to jump in the back, uh, you just pull this and the whole thing slides forward like that. Kids can jump in and then to move it back, 
we were we had a little frustration with this at first until we learned how to operate this um, so to move it back you want to grab it at the bottom and just oh am I doing that wrong oh hold on okay so this I was laid all the way back there so with this up appropriately and this comes all the way up here it can slide so you can reach down here and slide it back wherever you stop sliding it and then you push this back that's where it's going to lock in place however if your seat is still leaned forward and it's not locked into place whenever you're driving it will continue to slide it will yeah so if you leave it like this and then you take off driving it's going to go bam 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 until you sometimes and i've done it but sometimes i just reach back here and i throw this back and it locks into place uh, otherwise you have to reach this is one thing we thought was kind of dumb was this right here is all the way over here so if I'm, I'm reaching all the way over here to lift this up it slides easy but it's like why wouldn't they put it right here you just reach right there and do it so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense that this is all the way over here and down here like you really got to reach for it otherwise you can just hit this slide it wherever you want lock it in place like that an additional feature that's really nice is this middle seat on this EX model which is an eight seater this will slide all the way up you can see otherwise you can push it all the way back and if you didn't have a car seat here this would fold flat and it has like a tabletop here I'll show up two car seat or with two phone holders and two cup holders I believe all right so I'm in the back right here so if you folded that down you'd have two cup holders two phone holders and then a little platform you could set stuff on so that's pretty cool but with the car seat we originally had the our two-year-old back here but when the girls the older girls didn't come with us it was too much to have him go back there and do all that so we moved the kids little kids up here and it has worked out great now one of the make it or break it things for us i'm going to close this door so you can see Oh, it's down. Yeah, I put him down because uh, I was back here. Okay. So I'll go lift here. Hold that. I know what you're trying to show him. So all of the back windows have these retractable sun shades. Those back windows do not open, but these go mostly all the way down. Um, but it just locks into place like that. And you can still have your window down with that up. We locked it locked, because the baby was putting it down. So, yeah, really cool. And if you can still hear me, you can reach around from the front and undo it or lift it up if it gets dropped down. I've done that several times. So, you, yeah, it's like you can reach around and grab it and lift it down. She's content. For okay, saying. so one of the things that we have learned is that if you start the vehicle from the key fob and you come out and you open the side doors, and you're loading people in without getting your keys into the vehicle, the vehicle, as part of the security features, will automatically shut off. Um, so what we've learned is if we're going to do that, we need to unlock the vehicle from the unlock button and get the keys into the vehicle right away. Um, another thing that's really awesome with it is that if your vehicle, if your key fob is inside and you exit the vehicle and you try to lock it, it will not lock. Um, and likewise, if you try to drive off without your keys inside the vehicle, it's going to start beeping at you really loud. You can hear it outside of the vehicle and it'll alert you that the keys are not in the vehicle. But now to add to that, if you have kids who are old enough and say you're running in a store and they're going to stay out, uh, as you walk away with the key fob, they can hit the lock button from the inside and you can keep the vehicle running for them. Or you could have them pop up to the front, leave the key fob in it and lock it. Because it is also smart enough that it's going to shut down after 30 minutes of run time if you're not pushing your gas at all or changing. Or touching uh, anything. Yeah. yeah. It did that on the Seltos and I tapped the brake and it turned that off. Yeah, and it'll cool. give you a running countdown on that. Uh, we also like the position of this button right yeah. here on our other vehicle. It was really low so you kind of had to lean down and get it. And this is just at a very natural position to push it. So we really enjoy that. These doors, you can change it to where it's a slow close or a fast close, and we have it on a fast close. And you can hear it's running. Keys are outside. 
So it's alerting us that the keys are not in the vehicle with it running. And then it's running. So it's like, yo, it's I'm still running, y'all. So this is also a feature that I like. If I come up here with the key next to me, and it may not do it because it's running, but it'll start a slow beep. And then if I back away, then it'll do a fast beep and it'll go ahead and open for me. Here, let's show them that. Let's turn the vehicle off and okay. show them that. Okay, we turned the vehicle off, locked it. You hear that slow beep? It's the fast beep. Now it's gonna tell me that it's gonna open and I didn't push anything. That's a feature we have turned on. The key is in my pocket. So this comes really in handy um, whenever I've got the baby, I've got the diaper bag, keys are in the diaper bag. I can walk up, I can do that. I can put all my stuff in here without having to fish out my keys. And you can hear it's continuing to beep. Now, if I start to step away, it's going to do a faster beep. And then it'll automatically close for me. And now I'm going to stop that. Maybe I'm not going to stop it. We're going to open it back up. You can turn this auto off. So if you are unloading a bunch of stuff like or you need this open for a little bit, you can turn that off so that as you walk away, it doesn't do it. And then you can still push that button to have it go ahead and close. Or you could do it from your key fob as you're walking away. Yes. Yep. But yeah, if you're unloading a bunch of groceries, you don't want it to close on you every time you walk away. So just hit that button and it turns that feature off for that instance. Not, You don't have to turn it back on. It just knows that when you're walking away, don't close the door. Now, here's another feature that I want to talk about for moms that are looking at this, if you have littles. Talking about stroller size, this is definitely a bigger trunk space than any of the other vans that we've had. Um, we can fit a single jogging stroller in here with no issues. We can fit a double side-by-side -side Juvie uh, scooter times two in here and it takes up the space up till about here. So we could still potentially lay this seat flat or we'd have additional space right here. Um, we do have a Graco ready, or I think it's called ready to grow where it has the front and back seat, but it transforms into a sit and stand stroller. Um, that stroller still has such a large footprint that even in this large trunk space, I still have to remove the front tray and I still have to remove the visors to allow that to fit in here. And even at that point, it's still basically touching end to end in here. Yo, let's grab that stroller and show them. Okay. Okay, she is uh, putting the baby up because it is super hot out here. So we're just going to make sure the baby's not out too long. But while she's doing that, I'll go ahead and start showing this off. This is the side-by-side -side double stroller. It's a Juvie. Oh, I can't remember exactly what it's called. She probably know. But uh, it's, you know, a decent-sized stroller. And with it sitting over here, you could pack stuff behind it still. Like she said, there's a ton of space on the side. Maybe there's a better way to put that in there. I'm not real sure, but tons of space back here obviously you could lay these seats down if you needed to haul something and have even more space what's that stroller called it's this the... is the juvie scooter times two okay yeah side by side stroller so i was just showing them that it's got all that side space like you've mentioned there's room to put stuff back so you could totally pack this full of groceries and uh have your stroller in there how do these seats lay down let's show them that yeah so speaking of seats laying down, the front seats and that middle seat there um, can actually, they can come completely out. You can turn that middle seat around so it's facing rear. And on the Kia video that I watched, I haven't tried it, you can take both of those seats out and you'd take the left seat and move it to the right side, but face it backwards. And the same thing with the right seat to the left side and it can face backwards. So now to lay these down. Let's see, we've got to undo this seat belt here. You're so short. I love you. I guess I need something to release that. I have no idea. All right, we're just going to leave it the way it is right now. But to lay these down. Hold on. What'd you want, girl? What'd you want? Mm. All right, well, we're doing our video, so give us a few minutes, okay? Hey. All right, love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so to take these seats out, you pull this, you pull back, and 
And then you pull this number two here. And boom, 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 boom. I don't think we've ever even laid these down yet. We haven't. No, okay. Um, so then this would likewise lay down. We've got the seat belt engaged right now, which can come off. We just have to release it. And I don't have anything to stick down in there and release it right now. So you would, so maybe we would stick something in one of these little cubbies over here to poke down in there and release it? Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Okay, good to know. Oh no, you can use the seat belt itself. Oh, never mind, seat belt does the trick. All right. All right, cool. So that locks up into there. And they actually have a little thing right here for this to slide into so it's not dangling down. Cool. And then you can tuck this. All right, so that Let me tucks. Just do it. So this tucks into this. The and then it just slides right into there so it's out oh, cool. of the way. It's All concealed. Right. And then likewise for this, you pull to release it. You pull that down. Oops. Forward and lie flat. There's that toy we've been missing. Uh huh. And then these also have Velcro. So Velcro so back out of the way. Nice and neat. And then you could lay your cargo mat over the top of this. Do you have a cargo mat? I do have a cargo mat. Okay, it's in the garage. Yes. So it does come with a cargo mat to lay over to keep all that from getting messed up if you were to slide something in there or put anything heavy in. But now we'll show you this while we've got this open. You could grab this and pull this back. And you can see it comes the full length. Wow, it comes all the way back. Mm hmm So, okay, so that would be like three people and all your stuff in the back. I get it. That's cool. It's just options. It's just lots of options. Mm hmm Awesome. Do those? No, no, not all the seats come all the way back. No, right? they just don't the come middle. all the way back. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. it's just this middle one because it can serve as the tabletop back here. If I didn't mention it, those little tracks right there that it slides in, super easy to vacuum out. It's like I was telling uh, Katie, it's like this thing was made to be vacuumed with the vacuum car attachment. It's like you find it all the vacuum uh, spots at the car washes. Now, one other thing I do want to mention is the seats in the front. And this one right here has this plastic backing, which is really great. You know, if you have kids that may be kicking it, this seat here and this one here do not. They're just that leather backing. So we popped one of these on here to keep our toddler from scratching this up with his shoes. Because he was sitting in this back seat. And he likes to kick. He does like to kick everything. Mm -hmm. Except his baby sister. Boy, he loves his baby sister. All right. All right, so I noticed this when I was vacuuming. Can you unlock it? Unlock it? Yeah. Okay, so when I was vacuuming, I noticed under this mat that says spare tire. I don't know what you do with that. I imagine it's like a like a like a truck would be. You put something in there and turn it and it lowers down your spare tire, which is right there. So I don't know anything about it yet, but in case you're like, does this thing have a spare? It does have a spare. And there's a jack in here somewhere too, right? Right down here. There's a jack back in there. I don't want to pop that off. Okay. There's a jack back there. You just have to trust us. If there's not, then it's her fault. And there is a 12 volt adapter right here in case you're at the lake and you need to air up some, you know, tubes for the kids or something. or something. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us. That's, we just kind of wanted to give an overview of you know what it's like for a family of six to own this vehicle and like i said when three months ago when we were trying to figure out if this would be right for us they were not in stock anywhere so we couldn't actually see one and what we were finding online was just you know all the dealer guys talking about it of course they're all jazzing it up but this is a real review of what we really think about it i'd say overall i'd give it like a 9.5 9.5 uh, we'll never go back to the traditional minivan. Before this vehicle, we had a 2018 Dodge Grand Caravan. So real basic, you know, a very typical minivan. And this is just nothing like that. This is like driving an SUV 
minivan i guess is is it's hard to say but it's just there's nothing else out there like it so if you're in the market and you're considering it uh go check it out if you can find one they are amazing we love it and we'll probably stick with this style until something better comes out did i miss anything forget anything i don't think so All i think right. the only things we'd say that could be improved on it are the location of those handle things um the buttons uh, well i don't know if we touched on it but you mentioned the the rear release and the side doors if you're the driver you have to reach over here to get them and we did yes. kind of like them being up top yeah and so then those passenger. buttons being illuminated as well right other than that i think that's it mm -hmm. so boom like i said hope that helps hope that helps the people out if you're trying to make a buying decision if you found this information and this video valuable uh, please like subscribe and share and that way we can get this information in this video out to other people who might be trying to find some information. We're going to do the same type of review on that Celtos probably three months down the road. At least I will because that's my primary driver. If you guys couldn't tell, I don't know a whole lot about this vehicle. I just ride along in the passenger seat and play on my iPad. She's the rock star. <laughs> it's hers. But uh, I'll do the Celtos a few months down the road. I'll let you know what I think of that. So far, I love it. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Say bye. Bye.